Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about security camera. So let's look at the example first. Security camera recording. When motion is detected, a camera should start recording and continue for 25 seconds. With that, light should also get turned on with an interval of 2 seconds. That means there is a sensor which detects the presence of someone, which detects there is a motion. So when there is a motion, when motion is detected, the camera gets on and it starts recording for 25 seconds. And with that, the light will blink with the interval of 2 seconds. That means light will turn on for 2 seconds, then turn off for 2 seconds, then turn on for 2 seconds, then turn off for 2 seconds and it will repeat this process again and again. So in this example we will use normally open contacts and normally close contact. With that we will be also using uh, some memory bits and we will also use some timers like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly we need to go to PLC tags and then double click on default tag table. So here we will add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is the sensor which detects the presence of the motion or uh, uh, the presence of someone. It detects the motion and then we have two outputs. The first one is camera. So it is an output so its address will be Q0.0 and then we have one more output that is the light that may be a bulb and then after that we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. I will zoom into it and then I will add a normally open contact and then a coil. This normally open contact will be for the sensor that detects the motion and then this output is a camera. And then this camera should start recording for 25 seconds. For that, we will use a timer operation that is TP and the preset value for TP will be 25 seconds. And then I will insert a normally open contact in network 2. And I will use this normally open contact as camera. So it will. So the camera represents an input. So if camera turns on, that is for 25 seconds, then the current will flow through, through this for 25 seconds. And then in that interval, when a camera is on, also the light will turn on. So the light will turn on but it remains on for only two seconds so for this we'll use a timer that is a tp and this tp the preset value for this will be two seconds and then this light should get off for two seconds then again remain off for two seconds and then again on for two seconds so for that i will open the branch here add a coil and this coil will be a memory bit say M0.0 .0. and this M0.0 .0 should get on after every 2 seconds. So the preset value for will be 2 seconds and then we will use a normally close contact here for light and then we will use one more normally open close contact here as M0.0. .0. So this ladder diagram will make the light for on for two seconds, then off for two seconds, and again on for two seconds, again and again. So for that period of time when the camera is on, so it will blink for an inter for a 25 seconds in total, two seconds on, two seconds off. So now let's move to uh, simulation here. Click on load and then finish. 
After that, I will start monitoring. Before that, I will start the CPU here and then start monitoring. And then I will switch to the project view here. Let's create a new project here. Then I will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. So here we need to right click here and then click on load project tags. So here all are all the tags. So we need to give it the motion by activating the sensor. So when it gets activated, the camera gets on and it starts recording for 25 seconds. And in those 25 seconds, light gets on for 2 seconds off for 2 seconds, then again on for 2 seconds, then again on for 2 seconds. So for 25 seconds, camera remains on and also light blinks. But after 25 seconds, both get stopped. So the light got stopped and with that, this camera also got stopped. It stopped recording uh, and it recorded for 25 seconds when sensor was activated. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.